We got shoot around now. Oh, man. Kicking it with LG. I'm reliable. Yeah. Cam and I right now, we're in the Harvard Business Program. So what is this, day in the life of LG? LG kicks days. Welcome back, welcome back. We are a part of release number three, Kicking It With LG. We got my man Tank, Frank Kaminsky with me today. I'm excited to have you on, excited to have you be a part of this. Let's get right into it, let's get right into it. Tell me, tell me a little bit about like the numbers. I mean, I know you've worn 44 in the past, college, uh, NBA, now you wear eight. Talk about it. Um, I started out, actually, when I first started playing basketball, I was number one. Okay for Tracy McGrady. Okay. okay. Um, I used to get T-Max shoes every single year growing up for Christmas. Right. Um, and then I went to four for JJ Redick. Okay. Um, and then when I got bigger and taller and- I was about to say, like, when, when did the change? When I got like... in high school, I wanted to wear number four. Okay. But number four's jersey was too small. Okay. So I went with 44. <laughs> okay. And then 44 is my birthday and I started feeling really, really attached to it. Okay. So my birthday is April 4th, so it kind of has some meaning behind it. And then when I got to college, I wanted to keep it going. Yeah. And kept 44. Right. Um, and then kept it going in Charlotte, right. but then it's retired here in Phoenix. So yeah, no, no. I asked my, I actually asked my sisters and my dad mm -hmm. what number I should wear. And I was between, I want to say something in the 30s right. and 8. And they chose 8. So. Okay. That's why I got eight here. But it's good that look. It's I feel like you know four and four is eight, so yeah. it's perfect. All all kind of. They wanted to keep, they they agreed that I should keep the meaning of keep, it going. Keep it going, yeah. Keep it going. Uh -huh. I like it. I like it. That's good. Um, so, uh, you know, I think that I'm always insightful about learning more about like you know different players, like you know logos and different things like that. But I feel like you've you've kind of embodied and and been like a big part of like you know the tank like that's yeah. that's like kind of like what you are everybody relates relates to you that elaborate on it a little bit more talk about it uh well when the movie old school came out you know i was the only kid named frank okay that most people knew okay you know where i'm from yeah you know, i don't i don't know another frank that i really grew up with yeah um so when that movie came out everybody started calling me frank the tank okay and then in high school um, our student section used to chant it every single time I was at the free throw line. Yeah. So it kind of just caught on a life of its own. And then, and actually, it's funny. When I went to college, I went to college with people that were from my high school. Oh, for real? And they started doing it with the student section. Nice. Those people from my high school started doing it with the student section in Wisconsin. It kind of just took on a life of its own. Yeah. And then uh, I think it was my senior year, I did a Sports Illustrated cover where I did pictures of me literally standing out in the cold, like on a tank. <laughs> and then it just, it kind of just kept growing kept and growing, growing from there. And it's, I've always kind of embraced my nicknames. Yeah. I've never really fought anything. So, and that one's a good one. Yeah, that's a so. great one. You got to get you a logo with like the tank in the back and then you stand next to it or something like that. Man, it could be your logo going forward. I feel like it could. It could be something. I'm in the market for a new one. Okay. All right. Well, hey, you know, talk to me. I'm, I'm, I'm a management yeah. person. So yeah. I hope you all I know you're the guy. <laughs> Now, uh, now being a four-year guy, at Wisconsin, uh, and being like, you know, like one of the AP players of the other year, I mean that's that's a huge accomplishment. I mean I saw like your career, you you know kind of waited your time at, at Wisconsin and then started playing uh, a lot more the last two years. Talk about like, you know, going from just school finishing up all four years and then also too, you know, winning that AP Player of the Year. Well. Wisconsin's kind of more of a traditional school where, you know, Bo was very loyal to upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. People who waited their time through the program, came through, worked hard. Yeah. Um, you know, I was younger my first two years. I didn't play very much. Uh, I thought I was good enough, obviously, to yeah. be. I was, I was definitely good enough to be in the rotation on a team that went to the tournament two years in a row. Right. Um, but after my sophomore year, I just talked to him. I was like, I, I think I'm ready yeah. for, like, a bigger role. Right. And, you know, obviously with people graduating and it being my turn, mm -hmm. um, I just told myself that it was time to kind of take off. And yeah. I had a really good junior year, ended up being first team all Big Ten. 
uh, could have left. We went to the Final Four. Yeah. But in the Final Four, I didn't play very well. Okay. I mean, it was it was a difficult game for me. Yeah. Um, you know, just the excitement of being on the big stage and everything kind of got. Yeah. Where, where, where was that Final Four? That was uh, Dallas. Dallas. That's right. The, it I think it was the highest attended basketball game of all time. Yeah. It was like seventy-seven thousand people or something there. That's crazy. Um, I, all I remember is that elevated floor, like, yeah, and, and there was no backdrop. It was, it was weird. Yeah. And I didn't feel like. I did like everything happened so fast. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was ready to leave. Yeah. So I was like, I'm coming back. I'll get my degree. Um, kind of whatever happens, happens. But yeah. I wanted to come back, and we had a really good team. And I don't know, just yeah. was a really good, really good year. Yeah. I didn't expect to win any awards. Like when I came back, I remember um, Jeff Goodman from ESPN. We were at Big Ten like media day and he was like I'm gonna have an article coming out that you're my favorite for player of the year this year and I was like there's no way that's true <laughs> like I literally remember telling him like it was the first time anybody had mentioned anything about it to me I was like there's how yeah, like yeah. there's got to be somebody else right like that was just my mindset and then that whole year I didn't really think about it at all right. I was just trying to play and win and uh, get back to the final four that was my biggest goal and we got there got to the national championship game and Unfortunately, ended up losing. Yeah, but y'all had a run. I mean, I, remember, I just remember because you know I finished 14, so I was finishing up your junior, junior year, and I remember just that that whole year, like you guys were rolling. And then I remember when you came back the next year, I was like, wow, like y'all y'all had a, two great years getting to the Final Four, and not just for I mean the Big Ten, but just like just a, as a, a team. Because I remember John Lore was there before you as yeah. well. But it's like y'all had y'all had some really good unity teams that play really well together I remember and, that, and that's the thing about wisconsin too it's it's freshmen don't really play right away so you like forge bonds with guys yeah. you know it's it's almost like a thing where if you're not playing a ton yeah and you know you're going to play later on right you kind of forge like good relationships with people while mm -hmm. you're on like the scout team and you're doing all the workouts and stuff like that so right. when it's your time like the relationships kind of flourish on the court and that was yeah, that was that huge. was a lot of the stuff you know with my group. You know, we had guys that didn't really play very much early on. Yeah, and we were in practice to, together doing stuff every single day. And it's like once we finally got to play, it's like all right, it's our turn. That chemistry, that chemistry mm -hmm. is huge. What, what was what was the lineup? Because I remember y'all y'all had a big lineup. Um, because it was, it was we started Trayvon Jackson he was what, six one six two. He was yeah six two six three. Yeah. Um, and then he ended up getting hurt our senior year, and that's when Bronson Koenig stepped in and started starting. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh Gosser, Sam Decker, Nigel Hayes, and me. Yeah, so y'all had a huge lineup like mm -hmm. that. I remember, I mean, we my had, lineup wasn't like that. But 6'10", off the, six ten shooter off the bench. <laughs> yeah, uh, y'all had, yeah. had a squad. Y'all had, I mean, y'all had everything. Y'all had every, you know, facet that you need to win a championship and, and get to a championship that's, you needed it. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, kind of going into you know, off the court and like what you love doing. Um, I've seen you do some broadcasting. Mm -hmm. I saw you do the combine one year. Um, talk about that. Like, are you going to do something like that off the, off the court? Maybe once you're done, or what do, what do you what do you feel like you want to do once? Yeah, the ball I definitely awesome? I definitely think I want to do something like that. Um, in what capacity, I don't know yet. Yeah. Um, it's fun though. It yeah. is a lot of fun. I like to talk. Yeah. Um, I like to joke around. If it ever becomes like super serious, I don't know how I'd be with it. <laughs> um, but I like to just, I don't know, I like to talk and I see things in an interesting way and I feel like I have an interesting personality and it kind of just, it's me all the time. Yeah. I don't feel like I change whether it's, you know, on a camera, off a camera, who I'm around, who I'm with. I don't yeah. feel like I change as a person. I'm kind of just myself all the way through. Right. Um, and when I've done the broadcasting stuff, you know, just kind of being yourself. Yeah. And being a, a funny person, you know, seeing things interestingly, and then also being able to like see the game yeah. and like talk about it. It's, 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 fun. it's just, it's always been easy for me. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you could be the next Jay Billis for real. Yeah. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be as biased as Jay Billis <laughs> do. Yeah, yeah, no, he definitely yeah. biased, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, we, That's, that'll, be a hard, that'll be a hard part for me too. Like, if I do go into college basketball, like talking up other teams will be yeah, very yeah. difficult for me because oh, for I'm sure. such, you know, we're such competitors. Yeah, I know. Like, like, you... I went to Wisconsin. I feel my jersey's already retired by Wisconsin. Right, like, right. I feel Wisconsin loyalty. Yeah. Like, if Wisconsin's playing Michigan, yeah. I'm not going to talk up Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's so, just so not going to happen. You're Jay Billis, so yeah, like I feel, I feel so, like you, yeah, you know, yeah, I feel that yeah, sense yeah, yeah. of it, but it, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, 
Um, I mean, I want to know about this. I feel like everybody else wants to know about this. Being a Jordan Brand athlete, like, talk about the experience that, you know, the fans might want to hear about that was pretty cool that you know, maybe when you first signed or maybe something later on, I mean, that, that when, you, when you came along with Jordan Brand. Well, when I was coming out of the draft, um, you know, you talk with different shoe companies. You have – you try on different shoes. We were Adidas at Wisconsin for my four years. Um, I would always been <clears throat> more of like a Nike Jordan person, mm -hmm. you know, growing up being from Chicago, Jordan's right. everything. So, so AU, you wore what? <laughs> Reebok. Oh, re dang, Reebok? Yeah. I didn't expect that. We well, were I mean, Reebok, we were Reebok for my first, I only played real AAU for two years. The first year we were Reebok, okay. and then the second year we were uh, Under Armour. Okay, and then, you know, you went four years Adidas, uh -huh. and then... My high school for the first two years was New Balance. Okay. And then we the last two years, yeah, the last two years, we, we came, we got a new coach and I was, we were literally, I went in the office one day, it was me and the other like upperclassmen, the people he like knew, yeah. we were like, we don't want to wear New Balance shoes anymore. Like we want to go to Nike, yeah, yeah. you know, because I was a big like hyper dunk, uh -huh. like LeBron, yeah, like yeah. soldier. For sure. I was a big fan of those shoes. So yeah, that's what we changed to. Okay. Yeah. And then Adidas through college right. and then, you know, I was just trying out everything. Yeah. Uh, when I was in the pre-draft process and I got drafted in Charlotte and I got a phone call one day that was just like, no, nah, you're wearing Jordan shoes. Like, that's what, <laughs> like, and I was like, okay. I, I, I was about to say like, you know, having the owner, you know, Michael Jordan, well, co-owner, be to be Jordan and then him forcing you to be Jordan. I mean, I, I know that had to be kind of like. It wasn't really a forcing. It was just like, yeah. you're going to be wearing Jordan shoes. Yeah. And I was like, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever and worn then, Jordan in the past, or that was the first time? Um, I had worn some Team Jordans in the past, and okay. like growing up, I had a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I grew out of them, and then you know, once you get to college and you wear Adidas, like you get so many pairs of yeah, shoes for free. That, just, yeah. I still had my like pairs of Jordans. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the first shoe I actually like really remember playing in mm -hmm. was I used to steal my mom's Taxi Twelves. Mm. They were like size, That's... so that was back when I wore like size ten. No, no, it was no, a no. long time ago. Now, is that like your favorite of all time? Like, you know, growing up, like, was that a shoe like, oh man, I remember wearing that. It's up there because I remember my mom had them. Yeah. And my mom never played basketball, yeah, but yeah. she just had a pair of them. Uh -huh. And I used to always want to st like steal them and play in them. <laughs> yeah. And she used to like, she used to hide them in the house. She yeah. used to like try to keep them away from me. And one day at a big AAU tournament, and I was like, you know, mom, I'm taking, the, I literally was like, I've had enough. I was like, I'm taking the shoes and I'm wearing them. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, fine. And from then on out, they were mine. Damn. And I still have them, you know, back home in my house, in my bedroom, that's up on cool. my dresser. That's, that's, a, that's a great story. I wish I, I could say the same thing. I mean, me and my mom never really wore the same size. Like when I was a nine and then I went to like 11 real fast, it was yeah. just like, oh man, it's, mm -hmm. it's over for me. But, my mom wore a 10 and a half. Yeah. And I think I was in, I want to say, Sixth or seventh grade. Yeah, so I think it was perfect, seventh. That's a yeah. perfect age. So you, you can that really, was really you, like that was when like I started to take basketball like more and more, more seriously. Serious. Yeah, yeah. So I used to wear like before that, you know, you used to wear just like you used to go just to whatever. some store and just yeah, Nike yeah, outlet store and right, I'm, something I'm that fits. It going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's when I was like, all right, if I I want to wear like cool basketball shoes. Yeah. Nah, nah, we got to ask, like, how'd you play in them? I mean, did you, you know, play oh, well? Oh, it was killing. It was killing? Okay, yeah. well, that's, 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 that's what yeah. you expect. Now, um, now, finishing up, like, talking about shoes and everything like that, what's, what's something that maybe older, newer, that of all time, I know you just talked about the 12s being, like, one of the favorites or one of, the, you know, collection items. What's something you're like, oh, man, like, I wish I could have wore that or, I, I know, you know, I loved wearing this shoe when I was growing up? Well, you know, as a kid, I was obsessed with everything NBA. Yeah. So, um, you know, I used to see, like see something, like see somebody wearing a pair of shoes, you know, an arm sleeve, a leg sleeve, and I'd yeah. be like, I got to do that. Yeah, yeah. So I actually got funny pictures of me wearing like Nike shocks. I think it was oh. this all silver Vince Carter ones. Yeah. The ones with the zipper down the middle. Oh, I know. Yeah. And I was like, I remember seeing those and I was like, I got I. I gotta have them. Now, could you dunk at this time? Like, no, no, dunk. I was I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I swear I got those shoes. I, I used to mow lawns and get money. Yeah, yeah. And then I used to give my mom money, and she would let me use her credit card to buy stuff on like East Bay or online. So I used to Man, give her cash. She let yeah. me use her card to order stuff. And I actually ended up. I wore 
a leg sleeve oh. and it was just basically i was skinny at the time it was just basically a long like wrist sleeve yeah. that i just stretched out <laughs> i put an arm sleeve on which was i cut a tube sock uh-huh. and then i had a headband on nice and i was like all right i'm i, mean, I, I feel like you, i'm one of them I mean, so, so you're you know with the headband who, who are you emulating vince who, carter oh vince carter okay yeah. you got the arm sleeve Vince Carter, all Vince Carter. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you can go a lot of different ways with that. You can go AI. AI you know. was really the first one with the arm yeah, sleeve. Yeah, I'm about to say, you can go a lot, of ways, a lot of different ways. And Kevin Garnett used to wear the big sweatbands. He did, he did. His I had huge sweatbands. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's cool, though. I mean, uh, growing up, I feel like that's, as a kid, as a kid, you know, you only look at, you know, the NBA and. Yeah, you just, just want to be, be like them. them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I think as far as shoes go, like, the Jordan 11 is like, that was always the shoe I always wanted, but like. Mm -hmm would never get right and That's i remember hard. when i signed with jordan brand it was like they do they do shipments uh -huh. like obviously you get your shoe shipments you're like off the course stuff right i remember one shipment was like a bunch of pairs of 11s oh. and i was like I, I didn't wear anything else for yeah. like <laughs> two months in a row yeah like every day to the gym to the practice facility mm -hmm. anywhere it was all just 11s that's nice I saw, I saw you you actually wore the 11s um for the um ceremony when you got your jersey retired yep i saw uh, with kick Shadamas, he, he customized them yep. that was tough that was tough now uh kind of switching gears um i mean with everything that's going on in the world right now with cyberbullying and everything like that uh let's talk about like have you ever been bullied like in, in your life or have you experienced like you know trying to help another friend or anything like that i, I think we've all experienced it to a degree mm -hmm. um, obviously there's situations where people experience it more so than others yeah. i think when you're growing up kids like to pick on what is different yeah and for yeah. me in the situation i was always taller than everyone and true. bigger than everyone true, kids true, like true. to point out you know yeah make fun of the kid or yeah. test the kid that's bigger right and I, and, I, and I dealt with that a lot growing up you know i didn't have a ton of friends mm -hmm. um i had a few really close friends and you know, it's difficult sometimes when you're a kid in a situation where, you know, kids say things mm -hmm. and you don't want to react. Right. You know, that, that wears on you mentally. Sure. Um, sure. It's it, it's tough. You know, you can definitely see it how kids act nowadays with, you know, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. You know, I'm sure we even experience it. If you got social media, you oh, experience it sure. today to a degree. For sure. It's like you have a bad game and somebody's telling you to, like, go quit basketball because <laughs> yeah. you're the worst player of all time. Exactly. You know, that's... That's difficult, you know. I think people need to realize that their words have weight. Yeah, they have meaning. People pay attention to what you're saying, even sure. if you think it's the most meaningless things that you're saying to someone else. It could be very meaningful to someone. For sure. And, and I think that's difficult. I think that's a problem we deal with, and I think there's got to be a lot of a lot of stuff that's done. Yeah. You know, to help people change the way they think. Right. And, and think about what they say to other people. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's and that's big. That's, that's important that you say that because. You know, people are always trying to bring people down. Or, you know, this, this shouldn't be going on, but, yeah. you know, it does go on. So it's hard. Um, so I got three three last things for you. We got trivia. So uh, we've 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 had some good good contestants the last two episodes or two releases. Um, I'm ready. So let's, see, let's see how you do, okay? All right. So we have uh, first, all right? It's uh, which Wisconsin Badger has scored the most points in a Suns uniform? John Lohr. Um, that's that's a good one. Um, yeah, just fine answer. No. No, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. There's been a lot of. I mean, I feel like there's been a lot of Wisconsin badges. Uh, yes. The fine answer. Michael Finley. How long was he here? No, two years, two years. Two years. Yeah, he scored a lot of points. I should have just guessed him. He should. He's probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what part of his career he was here, yeah. but he was here, so you know he he scored a lot of points in his career. I know John had a John had a good season. Yeah, he had, he had, he had a good run. He, had, yeah. he definitely. I mean, he got paid off of playing there. So, uh, uh, next one, who led the 2014 NCAA tournament in minutes per game? So I know you guys played a lot of teams. Um, throughout your run, made it to the Final Four. I mean, I, I, this could, this is a, this, you know, it's, it's way out there. Is it Napier? Um, so 2014-2015 or 2013-2014? Uh, 13-14, yeah. Is this Shabazz Napier? No, but, but you're close. You're close. He, so I'll give you a hint. Uh, 
they played against Shabazz Napier in, in the run, in his run. They played against him. In the Final Four? No, and I just just in general, it, it wasn't like a specific game or, or you know time. It just like over the run. Was it Langston Galloway? It was Langston <laughs> Galloway. <laughs> yeah, um, my first game we played against them. I played all forty five minutes. We I got, I got a funny time. story. So we were in the final four. I or was it? Yeah, we were playing Kentucky my senior year. Yeah. And Coach Ryan would normally take me out like if it was something quick, like right before a media timeout. Right, right, yeah. And he tried to take me out with like two minutes before a media timeout. Uh -huh. And I was out for like, I want to say like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. And this is like, I literally just got up from my seat, walked to the scores table, yeah. checked myself back in. And as I was walking on the court, I was like, don't take me out again. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I was like, if we're gonna, if we're gonna go down, I want to be on the floor. I like that. That's, 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 that's a good coach's trust. I think I, I like think, right I think but I played, you need that. You need that. I think yeah, I played that. all but like 40 something seconds that game. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, nah. I, I feel like you being, can do that in college though, because there's a timeout yeah, every yeah, yeah, every two, know, three minutes. Yeah, it's a timeout. And if, if you go on a run and somebody calls a timeout, and then 10 seconds later there could it's be another, another timeout. timeout. Yeah, so it's always timeout, timeout. So it's like you know, NBA a little different. Last one. All right. So this 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 might be easy for you, but we'll see. Uh, during your time at Wisconsin, how many tur NCAA tournament wins did you have against teams with cat mascots? Arizona, so okay. two. Okay. Kentucky, okay. So three. Okay. Um, what's a Chanticleer? It's like a bird, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a bird. Um, yeah, think... Oregon's a duck. Yep. So it's just cats. Just, just talking about cats. It's three. Three. Fun answer. Yeah. Fun answer. It's good. Good. <laughs> There you go. He, he, well, I mean, at least you went two for three. Everybody else is going two for three, one for one for three with each one. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. But man, I, I can't thank you enough for being a, being a part of this and you know uh, talking about some history, and talking about something that the fans you know they want to get the insight, see what's going on behind closed doors. LG so. kicks. There it is. There it is. Kicking with LG. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Another one done.